Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Katie. I am a freelance editor and an indie author. Today we're gonna do a weekly vlog. I am trying to come up with a new title or name for these vlogs because they've changed so significantly over the years. They used to just be weekly reading vlogs, then they were weekly writing vlogs, and now they're just like weekly freelance editing work, indie author work, sometimes reading for fun, sometimes writing for fun. It's a weekly vlog. Anyway, I actually started this vlog this morning and I just like wasn't in a good mood and I didn't like the way that any of the first clips turned out, so we're gonna start over and this is now the first clip. Today's Monday. It's 1.30. Despite the bad mood and the bad first clips, we've had a very productive morning. Today was a deadline for one of my editing clients, so I finished up with that project, and now we only have three. We have two copy edits and one manuscript evaluation, and I have so much stuff going on for my own books. So that's kind of the main focus, especially through the end of this month. So the things that we'll be working on in this vlog, Poems for the End of the World is coming out October 1st, so I have a ton of prep and stuff for release day for that and release week content. So we've been doing that. I have a deadline on the book that I'm writing because I'm sending it to critique partners and beta readers on October 15th. So I need to finish this draft before then. We're getting there. If you've been staying caught up on my vlogs, I've had this checklist of all the changes that I want to make to this draft. We are down to two items on the checklist. Rewrite one chapter and add a scene to another chapter. And then I'll read through the whole draft and see if there's any other changes that I want to make before I send it off to my readers. So we're working on that. We officially have a narrator for the audiobook of the anti-virginity pact, so there's not really anything more for me to do. I just have to wait for my narrator to finish producing the audiobook now. So that should actually free up some time for me now that we have that all figured out. So excited to get the audiobook back. I know a lot of you've been looking forward to it too, so don't hold your breath. It won't be coming till probably December at the earliest, but I'm very excited about that. I've also been redoing the files for my other book, The Sweetest Kind of Poison, and I wanted to get that done before the release of this one. So I actually just finished proofreading the new files, so we're just gonna upload that and get that ready. So mainly this week, our big focus is gonna be getting poems for the end of the world ready for release. Yeah, if you're interested in all of this like behind the scenes publishing stuff, I'm actually filming a different vlog this week where I go in depth like every step that I'm doing and everything that I'm doing to prepare for these different things. You like the details and like the nitpicky stuff, that's on my Patreon page on my publishing tier. I can have that link down below if you're interested. But if you just want the gist, that's gonna be in this vlog. So anyway, I'm trying to keep these chatty intros to the vlogs to a minimum. So we're just gonna get straight back to work with my editing client stuff. We're gonna get a refill of my energy drinks and get back to work. It is now 4.15. We are back. Um, I just got back from nannying, if you missed my last vlog. I officially quit the nanny job a week and a half ago or so, and I'm just sticking with them until they can replace me, so hopefully this will be my last week that I have to do that. But we are back in the office. So hungry, so that'll be the first order of business. And I'm also crashing a little bit. We have too much to do today to call it a day at 4.15, so I need some kind of pick-me-up to get a second wind here. I would still like to get some editing client stuff done. I wanna work on my own book tonight. And I actually ended up getting so much Patreon stuff done today because you guys know I do my book club over there, so I made some good progress in our book club pick. Finished our second Self Pub 101 video, so I just need to edit that and get that up on the page. So basically, we're doing well, we're doing well. The book we're reading for our book club uh, this month. That's another thing I need to do is um, come up with the options because we do a poll at the beginning of every month so people can vote on what book they want for next month's book club. So I need to figure out what the options for next month are going to be. But this month we're reading The Night Swim by Megan Goldwyn and I'm really really enjoying this so far. So let's go get some food. Max is being so cute. Hold on. I'm worried if I make any sudden movements or noises to pick up the camera she's going to stop doing what she's doing. Max! Okay, I actually got more editing stuff done earlier today than I thought. I just did a little bit more and we're done for the day. 4.30, so I'm gonna start making dinner. New episode of a podcast I like called Don't Blame Me is out. They have like a video version on YouTube too. So we're gonna set up, I think, over here and I'm gonna put it on the TV while I eat. I got something new with my groceries. We're gonna try, they're basically vegan pizza bites 
which sounds delicious, veggie sausage pizza bites. Morningstar used to be a brand where they would have um, vegetarian stuff, but most of their products weren't vegan. And what I've noticed lately is they've made most of their products vegan now. So I'm excited about that. So we're gonna try some of these and probably something to go with it that's a little healthier, but I wanted to try these. And we'll relax for a little bit and watch the podcast. And then I wanna to get to work on my own book tonight. I've been putting it off because the last two things I have on my checklist, I know are gonna like, it's not that it's gonna take me a long time. It just really requires me to be focused and like a lot of brain power. And I'm tired, do you hear Max? Yes? What's up? She's saying, I think it's time for my dinner too. I'll just wait over here. It's 5.30. The pizza bites were decent. I wasn't blown away. Like they were fine, a little bland. I ended up putting vegan ranch on them and then they were good, but not as good as I was expecting. I'm in. I'm back in the office because I was emailing with some clients, so I needed to see my calendars to see when I could squeeze people in. But now we're gonna get to work on my book. And I actually realized that I'd already rewritten one of the chapters that I thought I still needed to do, so all I have left is to add one more scene towards the end. However, a big thing with that is like the flow and the pacing and the whole like emotional payoff and everything. So I actually think I'm just gonna go back to the beginning of the book and start making my way through in chronological order, chapter by chapter, and just seeing if I like everything that I have and seeing if I notice anything from reading it that way. I actually pulled up my sample edit from my editor for the first chapter just to look at it again while I look through chapter one tonight. And I really like chapter one actually. So it'll be fun to go back to a chapter that I like instead of reading all of the chapters that I wanted to fix because I didn't like them. And that's gonna be our project for the rest of the night, I think. I do have a lot of videos to edit, but not right now. We're not gonna do it right now. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. So the kitties also wanted to say good morning. So this morning I just finished editing my second self-publishing one-on-one video for Patreon. So I'm just waiting for that to upload so I can post it. I think I already told you it's a behind the scenes vlog of all the publishing stuff that I've done this month. You know, the stuff for my audiobook, all of the preparation I've been doing for my book launch, my marketing plans, basically everything I've been doing the past month. So that's gonna go up this morning as soon as it's done uploading. I've also just been emailing with some clients, sending over invoices, all that kind of stuff. I'm making my to-do list. So we're just gonna get straight into editing client stuff. Oh, I just got another new one. So now I have two manuscript evaluations, two copy edits. So I think we're gonna start with a copy edit and then we'll do a manuscript evaluation, then we'll do a copy edit, then we'll do a manuscript evaluation to break it up. That's the plan. I also got a text from uh, the family that I nanny for. So I was hoping this week would be the last week that they need me, but they need me to keep coming until next Tuesday. So a week from today. So the 29th will be my official last day, which is fine. I'm just really looking forward to having that extra time in my work week because I think it'll make a really big difference. I can stop working so late every night. Um, I'm only working for them five hours a week right now, but including travel time, it adds up to like seven or eight hours a week. So eight hours back into my work week would be amazing. Hello, it's 4.30. I got back from work about half an hour ago and I'm doing something I wasn't expecting to have to do and I'm so annoyed, but we're gonna do it anyway. I thought I'd already finished reformatting the sweetest kind of poison. It looked good on the preview on the thing and then I sent it to my phone so I could look at it on the Kindle app to see how it looked and it looked so weird and I was like, why is it doing this? It was adding all of these extra spaces between every single stanza. So I just did some research. I'm using vellum to format it this time, which I've never used before and apparently if you have a blank line it interprets that as a scene break so it makes it more prominent and like a big space so it was like a big space between every stanza and it looked so weird and I was like well how am I supposed to format poetry that has these breaks between them um so you have to format it as verse and then it like automatically formats it a way to look like that and I don't love the way that it looks so I'm fighting with it right now I'm trying to figure out what to do I've gotten so much of my own project stuff done today I've gotten barely any editing stuff done today, so don't love that. But I sent out the links to my release day Blitz team for Poems for the End of the World. I've been working on this formatting and basically just stuff for all of my different projects and mostly responding to messages and emails because that had gotten really backlogged. I have gotten some editing client stuff done today, but not that much. And honestly, I have such a bad headache that I just don't think I can do it tonight. So we'll just focus extra heavy on that tomorrow. I'm gonna sit here and put something on TV while I continue to reformat this because it's gonna take me a while. Good morning, Maxine. Dino. Good morning. It is Wednesday, I think. 
I just put my contacts in so my eyes are all watery. Today, I need to do pretty much exclusively editing client stuff because I did pretty much exclusively my own stuff yesterday. We're gonna get some coffee and go into the office and not move pretty much until I have to go nanny. I forgot I was vlogging today. What else is new? It's 11 o'clock. I just spent over an hour vacuuming this entire condo. Found a small mountain of cat hair. Um, yeah, it's 11 o'clock. But literally, it's like so hard to vacuum up all of the cat hair. I have to go through it so many times that it's like a workout. Like I turn on my watch and I burn like 400 calories just from trying to vacuum. <laughs> so that was my workout for the day. Now we're gonna get back to work. We're on track. We're just gonna ignore my current state. I'm gonna go take a shower in a little bit. But there was two other things I wanted to update you on. Because I don't think I told you yesterday. I did end up figuring out the whole situation with the Sweeties Kind of Poison formatting and I finished the files and I uploaded them for the ebook and for the print book actually. So I ended up cutting quite a bit from the book. The book was originally I think 154 pages and now it's like 125 but I'm a lot happier with it now and I like the new formatting more. Um, it was interesting like I was like googling why is this turning out weird because I used to have to send my files to my Kindle to check the formatting to make sure it turned out okay. But I was reading when you're doing a Mobi file with Kindle. I don't know if you care about any of the technicalities. Um, if you're looking at an EPUB file on a different device, like an iPad or something, it, it's fine. But Amazon's thing works differently. So if you're looking at a, mobile a Mobi file on a Kindle, um, unless you bought it from the store and downloaded it, it doesn't show up with all of the correct features. So it might be properly formatted, but it's not going to show up properly formatted. So it was really confusing. So anyway, the book was fine, actually. And it's uploaded and updated and you can get it now. And I actually ended up changing the price of the book too. This isn't gonna stay this way forever, but I brought the price of the paperback all the way down to $9.99, so that's pretty significant. It'll at least stay that way until After Poems comes out. I haven't really decided yet. So, if you wanted to get it on sale and if you wanna see how the new version looks, that's up now. And um, while I was vacuuming, I was listening to the audiobook for my book club. So now I am, I think, like halfway through The Night is Swim. And you guys, this book is so good. I have not been reading for fun at all lately. I just, between my own work and my client's work, I haven't had the time or the energy to do any kind of reading. And I'm so glad we chose this for a book club this month because I'm enjoying it so much. And it's making me realize how much I miss reading for fun. Anyway, I gotta get back to work, so we'll chat later. Hello, don't mind my pile of laundry. It's 1.45. I finished with all of my editing client stuff for today. I might work a little bit more on it later, but I finished enough that I'm still on track. I wanna focus on the book that I'm writing for the rest of today until I leave and then when I get back. So where I'm at with this book right now, I think I've said this before, I'm sending it to my beta readers on October 15th, which gives me 23 days, I think. It's what I did the math for. And there's 23 chapters in the book. So if I work on one chapter per day, it will be ready in time. So I did like the full big sweep where I was changing all of the big picture ideas, like plot stuff. And I think that's pretty solid. The problem is it still reads like an early draft, especially because I'm an underwriter. So reading through the different chapters, some of them are okay. Some of them are very bare bones. Like I get in and I get out fast in a scene. I don't really set the scene. I don't have a lot of description. It's a little too fast, stuff like that. So I'm going chapter by chapter. And if I catch anything additionally, I'll work on those too. But my main focus is to go chapter by chapter and make sure I'm happy with it and the pacing of it. And if there's enough description and if it cuts off too soon and things like that. So we're at 58,000 words about with this draft. There's still one scene actually that I haven't written, but I'm just gonna wait until I get to that chapter. So we're gonna pretend that it's already in here and estimate that the word count after I add that will be about 60,000. Chapter one, I've already gone over several times, so I don't think that's gonna take me a lot of time. So we're gonna do chapter one and chapter two today. Hopefully whip this into shape before anyone else, aside from my editor, gets to read it because she's already seen the first chapter. I'm always nervous um, having someone else read the book for the first time. Once like one other person has read it and I've gotten one other opinion on it that I'm fine with other people reading it but it's always like that first other person to read the book because you have no idea how anyone else is going to react to it until that one other person reads it so I'm going to send it to my friend I'm going to send it to my beta readers I'm going to send it to my critique partners and I'm about to get a ton of other opinions on it but as of now no one else has read the full book besides me and I'm nervous for other people to read it because I have no idea what people are going to think of it so I'm getting a little nervous, but I'm also excited to hear some second opinions because I know right now the book is not where I want it to be. I know it's lacking something. I know there's still some pretty big changes that I want to make, 
but I also know that I'm too close to it so I think getting some other opinions will be very helpful. It will be painful but it will be helpful. So I am both looking forward to and dreading this next step of the process. Chapter one is in good shape. It is now time for me to leave, so we will start on chapter two when I get back. Something I've realized is it really comes down to what mood I'm in when I'm working on my book, because I read chapter one like yesterday, and I was like, God, I hate this. Everything is terrible. It needs to be completely rewritten. This is the worst thing I've ever created. And then I read it today, and I changed like a couple of things, but I was like, actually, this is pretty good. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. So, I ended up getting through both chapter one and chapter two last night, and I'm really happy with both of those. So. That's great news. I think chapter three needs some more work, so it might be a little bit slower today, but I'm excited about that. I'm actually looking at a spread that I did in my journal back in July for my quarterly goals. Um, I just started doing this last quarter. Where I wrote out all of my goals in four different categories, writing, social media, income, and other. And then on the other side, I have Max in the litter box. Quarterly review where I ask some questions that I'm gonna answer for myself now that it's getting to the end of September. So I'm gonna fill out Max! The review for myself for last quarter, and I'm also gonna plan out and set some goals for next quarter, is all I'm trying to say. Yeah, the writing went really well last night. So we're gonna do this, and um, we're gonna do some editing client stuff this morning, and I'll talk to you later when she's done! Hello. So I just got out of the shower, obviously. We have lots of editing stuff to do, but actually what I'm gonna start with... I don't know why I keep putting my chapstick in here because then I fall to the bottom and I can't find it anymore. Today is exactly one week before the release of poems for the end of the world, so I'm gonna send out a newsletter. So I'm gonna get that together. I'm gonna send out a newsletter on release day, but I'm also gonna send out a newsletter today um, announcing the sale for the sweetest kind of poison. I've decided I'm gonna put it on sale today and announce some other stuff. So if you're not already subscribed to my newsletter, I'll have my website linked down below. All you gotta do is put in your email. So that shouldn't take me too long to put together, but we are gonna need an energy drink. Also, I need to call Paige because we're doing our first official episode of Well That's Unprofessional, our new podcast next week, but we wanted to do like a trial thing this week. So we need to set a date when we can try to do that. So if you also, if you want to check out our podcast, well, that's unprofessional, I'll have that link down below. But for now, let's get an energy drink and get to making this newsletter. It's now 11 11 oh my gosh that's supposed to be lucky or something right um anyway <laughs> i finished putting together the newsletter and i really like the way that it turned out i ended up putting so much stuff in it so it's going to be a very comprehensive newsletter i'm excited to send it out i haven't sent it out yet because i updated the price for the sweetest kind of poison on amazon and it's taking a little bit to like process and for that new price to reflect on the store so i don't want to send out my newsletter which says the book is now 99 cents if the book is at 99 cents yet. So once that gets approved, then I will send out the newsletter. Um, if you can tell, I got like a major spike of energy from that energy drink. I'm like, good to go now, except I'm having a really hard time focusing in here. Um, I've been working on one of my copy edits and like every other sentence, I'm just sitting here like getting distracted. So I think we're gonna do a change of location. We're gonna go into the kitchen or over into my living room or something and work over there. I was listening to my audiobook while I was getting ready this morning and I think I already said how much I liked this book, but if you haven't picked up this book, this should be the next thing that you read because I'm enjoying this so freaking much. It's been so good. If you like thrillers, um, something I didn't know about it before I went into it, it's about a girl who does a true crime podcast and she looks at um, criminal cases. So I assumed it was gonna be about like a murder or something, but the case that she's covering in this book is a rape case and there's two storylines, both about rape cases, so just know that going into it because I know a lot of people might not be able to handle that kind of content in this book. I'm finding it quite upsetting but I'm also like super sucked into the book right now. So anyway we're gonna go set up somewhere else and hopefully get some more work done because I'm still in the first project and we got four to work on today. Plus I want to work on chapter three of my own book today. But also look how just unbothered Maxine is. She's just going through life not a care in the world. And Dean got jealous. Hey guys, so it's a little after four o'clock. I have been sitting here working on one of my editing projects and I'm frustrated because 
I'm still waiting on Amazon to update the price for the Sweetest Kind of Poison so I can send out my newsletter. I updated it six hours ago now and it still hasn't gone through. Um, when you're publishing something for the first time it takes a long time but usually when you're just like updating some information or the price it only takes a couple of hours. So this is unusual. I think it's just like another like COVID delay kind of thing. So I'm thinking it's either not gonna update today at all or it's gonna update really late at night and I don't want to send my newsletter really late at night. I'm gonna have to hope that it updates by tomorrow and send it out tomorrow. So this has also been making me think like what day um, if you guys saw the vlogs for the anti-virginity pact I was getting really nervous because I hit public on the paperback for that book three or four days before the release date to make sure it went up on time and it still almost went out late and it was so frustrating when it tells you that the absolute max amount of time for it to approve your book is three days and mine took way longer than three days so I was like really nervous about that. Now I'm thinking um, because I had that experience with that book in June it's probably still gonna have like a really big delay because of COVID and everything so how early do I need to publish this paperback in order to get it out on time, but for it to not go out earlier than the release day? <laughs> so I'm thinking I might hit publish on that tomorrow, which is like five or six days early and just hope that it doesn't go up in like 24 hours and be available a week early. But like, I don't know what else to do because I don't want to hit publish on it the usual three days in advance and then have it go up like three days late. So this is an annoying thing, but it is what it is. So anyway, we're waiting. There's nothing I can do. It's out of my control. It's fine. We're waiting for the price to get updated. Whenever that's done, we'll send it out. So yeah, it's like 4.15. I'll probably sit here until 5 working on editing client stuff and then we'll take a break and then we will switch over to working on my book tonight. I still haven't worked out today, so I want to get that in too. Hey guys, happy Friday. So the good news is um, I must send poems for the end of the world. The Sweetie's Kind of Poison updated, so the price is now at 99 cents. I sent out my newsletter. I see that within 10 minutes of me sending the newsletter, people already went to grab it, so things are good. So this morning, we're gonna jump straight into editing client stuff. I was working on my book last night, and it went so well. I finished chapter three, and I just like kept going because I was really enjoying the book. I forgot how much I liked the beginning, so I can't remember what chapter I ended at. Things are going really well on that account. Too. So I'm gonna sit here and drink my coffee, go through emails and stuff, and then get to work, and I'll update you later. Hi, Maxine. Okay, so I ended up spending a little bit of time fixing the print version of The Sweetest Kind of Poison. I ended up adding um, just like the beginning of Poems for the End of the World at the end. I thought it'd be fun to try it out, just be like, turn the page for a sneak peek for the next book. So if you get the paperback, which is on sale for $9.99 right now, you get a sneak peek at Poems for the End of the World in there too, which is kind of fun. Now I'm gonna sit here and record the podcast for my Patreon page, not the podcast I do with Paige, the podcast I do on my page where people send in specific questions about publishing or their own projects and stuff and I answer those. So it looks like today I'm going to be talking about, sorry I'm trying to get my computer set up, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about all of my different streams of income and how I'm able to work for myself, both past streams that helped me get here and the streams that I have now. And then I also think there was a question about dealing with hate on YouTube, and there was one other one. I'll have to look them up. But those are the questions I'm gonna be talking about today. So I'm gonna record that, probably edit this vlog, and then I'm probably gonna run out of time and have to go nanny. So that's the plan. Hello, um, I just got a text that I actually don't have to go nanny today, so that's good, because I was kind of on a roll. I just finished recording my podcast. Um, that was the longest one I have ever recorded. I think it was like a 45 minute straight recording, so we'll get to editing that later. I think it'll be a good one. Um, I really liked the topics that we got to chat about today. So I've just kind of accepted that I'm not gonna get ready today. Now we shall get back to work. I don't know why I'm like sitting here in the dark. I don't know why I don't have any of my lights on. Under your control, everything is real. So hit me. So hit me. Hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With